Okay, next question. I uh, would like to to uh, try this question later after I explain uh, example of question that is very similar to that one. Okay, I'm gonna read uh, this question here. <coughs> Given x to the power of three over two equals to eight, and y to the power of minus two equals to uh, twenty five over nine. So work out the value of two x uh, over three y. So the question is two uh, x over three y means that we need the value of x and we need the value of y in order to uh, solve the question. Okay, now uh, we have an information here. The first one is this one here, x to the power of 33 over 2 equals to 8. So we need to f work out for the value of the x. Okay, just remember that if you want to solve for any value of a variable or uh, we call it the algebraic equation, uh, the variable should be alone in one side of the equal sign. I mean like the, the coefficient is 1 and the power is also 1. So in here, um, we have x uh to the power of 3 over 2 equals to 8 right so we need to get rid of that power right 3 over 2 or we can say that we want to make that equals to 1 because x to the power of 1 is ex just equals to x right so what should we do with the power so in here uh in index form uh, in a uh, law of indices we know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n that will be equal to a to the power of m times n right so we we can use this concept here to uh get rid of this three over two or make that is equals to one so uh the easiest way to do this is actually just multiply that three over two with the reciprocal okay reciprocal means that if we have like three over two then the reciprocal will be two over three it's just like like, uh, like swapping the numerator and the not denominator that's it okay so let's try this one uh, so that will be x to the power of 3 over 2 equals to 8 so I am going to like multiple uh, uh, put a bracket and then uh, multiply this or oh, not multiply it's a, uh, mult, uh, not multiply we call it a uh, and put another index which is 2 over 3 so whatever i do on the left side of the equal sign i do this exact same thing on the right side of the equal sign okay so if i put a bracket like 2 over 3 on the right side also the same thing right okay so can you see that uh, uh using this concept the law of indices this one right so you only need to uh what do you call it the multiply the power right so you're multiplying the 3 over 2 with 2 over 3 if you use the calculator actually you don't really need to use calculator because if i have 3 over 2 multiplied by 2 over 3 this is just equals to 1 because you can cancel this right and then you can also cancel this 1 times 1 is equal to 1 and for the numerator the same thing with the denominator it's 1 just 1 over 1 which is equals to 1 right so that leaves us with on the left side we only need we only have x to the power of 1 right and you don't really need to write down that power Okay, so for this one, right, you can actually just use the calculator if you want. You don't have to uh, calculate it manually. Just put into the calculator, you will get, um, you will get four actually. Or uh, if I use uh, the what do you call it? If I change this into uh, something else, for example, eight can be actually be written as two to the power of three because two times two times two equals two eight, right? So change that also into an index form. You can do it like that, right? Um, maybe I'm gonna use. Um, red okay can you say that if you multiply this say 2 over 3 times 2 over 3 is just equals to 2 right so that will be just equals to 2 to the power of 2 right so that's x equals to 2 to the power of 2 or x equals to 4 okay you get the value of x or again guys you can just like put this into the calculator and you will get the exact same result with this one Okay, so we have found for the value of x. Now we found we need to find for the value of y. So it it has the same um, exact concept. If I have <coughs> y to the power of minus two equals to twenty five over nine, and we know that we want to get rid of this or make this into one, so we do the same exact thing like we did before uh, when looking for the value of x. So that will be just like y to the power of two. I'm going to write down like this and I'm going to multiply the power right with negative 1 over 2 because minus 2 times negative 1 over 2 is equals to 1 so this is the same exact thing and yeah <coughs> so that leaves us with just y on the left side and uh, when you put this into the calculator you will get 3 over 5 <coughs> right okay so you have the val found the value of x and the y <coughs> And then because the question is what is the value of this, so you only need to substitute the value of x and the value of y 
with the value that we just found okay so in conclusion we can say that the 2x over 3y is it yeah that's the question okay that'll be e just equals to 2 substitute the x will be 4 right because x equals to 4 this is x right and then over <coughs> 3 times 3 over 5 Okay, and you, just, uh, you can just like put this into the calculator, or if I do it manually, there will be 8 over 9 over 5, or that will be equals to 40 over 9. Okay, next up, uh, I simplify this expression as a single fraction. We know that we have two fractions here, and they're being added, and then we can actually use the, the butterfly method, actually, well, uh, to solve this problem. Uh, to simplify this expression uh, just remember that every time you get to the final answer if it's in a um, fraction please write it down as the simplest form of uh, fraction okay so uh, I'm gonna write down uh, a different question but I would like you to this do this try this later okay so but using this concept okay so l let's say I have um, 4x over um, 9 and then plus uh, 6x, yeah, over, let's see, it's over 5, okay? So uh, you can use the, the butterfly concept or you can find what we call the uh, LCM, right? The LCM of, of for the numerator. Just remember that if you want to add or subtract fraction, you need to make sure that they have the same exact denominator. If they, if you don't have the same exact denominator, then you need to find its LCM. Okay, so uh, the LCM of nine and five is equal to forty-five. So I'm going to change that into forty-five, <coughs> right? Okay. So can you see that we are? Uh, using what we call the equivalent fraction if we if we do it like this if i know that uh nine to go to 45 you need to multiply by five you so you own you also need to multiply this by five yeah so it's four x times five is equal to 20 x okay and don't forget the x yeah and the same thing with this one so five to get 45 you multiply by nine so this also multiply by nine so six x times nine is equal to 54 x Okay, so after you get the same exact denominator, then you can do directly add or subtract the uh, numerator because this is an addition, so you just add them together, okay? So this will be just 74x over 45. You don't really need to change this into a mixed uh, number because it, uh, the question doesn't ask you for that, okay? So again, do the same thing with this one. Um, another way in how to do it, maybe I'm going to uh, write down other uh, questions. Uh, for example, like uh, 2x over 3 plus, let's say it's 5x over 6. Is it? Yeah, 5x over 6 is the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'm going to change it. Uh, let's say it's 7x over 6. 7x over 6. Yeah? Okay. So uh, for this one, actually, it's a. Uh, uh, we can do what we call the butterfly concept and we can just like multiply cross like this one okay so the first thing you do is you multiply this with this one right and you put it over here that will be 12x right 12 6 times 2x is just 12x and then you do this one right 3 times 7x 3 times 7 is 21x because they're being added so you put plus over here and then write down 21x and the next one is 8 3 times 30 3 times 6 that will be just equals to 18 Okay, and then again, you can just like add these two numbers, right? So 12 times plus 21x, uh, sorry, 12x plus 21x is equal to 33x over 18. So basically, you're done, but we're not done yet actually because we can simplify this fraction. We know that 33 and 16, both of them are divisible by 3, right? So divide both of them by 3, you will get 11x over 6. So this is going to be the final answer. Okay. So again, guys, you can you can actually use this concept, this this very simple method. Uh, but just remember that uh, the final answer should be in the simplest form of fraction. Okay, next question. Uh, simplify this expression. You can see that uh, we have an expression on the top, on the numerator, and also the denominator. Okay, so uh, I have taught you on how to cancel, but please, for this one, please don't just go straight and cancel because, for example, like this. Ah, uh, uh, this is x to the power of 2, and this is also x to the power of 2, and then you cancel it. No, don't do that because this is an addition. That's not the factors, okay? So just remember that if you want to cancel, make sure that they are the same factor. For example, if I have like x plus 2, and then here like x plus 1, and then x plus 1. And here they're like being multiplied. This multiplied by this, and over 
like this. So this is exactly the same, and they're being this two are being multiplied. So we can cancel this one. But if I have like x plus one, and then plus x plus two, and then this is x plus one, you cannot cancel this. You cannot cancel it because they're not the same factor, right? I mean, like they're not factors. They're being added with this one. Yeah. So be be careful with that. Okay. So for this one. Uh, again, we cannot cancel straight like canceling this one. Don't ever do that. Okay, so we need to uh, do an, uh, the way and how to do this is like to factorize. Uh, you can do like, one of them or both of them. If you have the same exact factor, then you can cancel. Okay, so uh, if you don't know how to factor, uh, see my previous video about factoring. Okay, this is uh, if I factor this as this actually. Okay, maybe I'm gonna use other uh, question. Uh, there will be x square plus five x plus six, for example, over uh, x square plus wait. Uh, uh, 7x plus 12, for example, like this, okay? So, this 2, if I factor this, this is going to be x plus 2 and x plus 3, right? x plus 2 times x plus 3. For the, this one, is going to be x plus uh, 3 multiplied by x plus 4, right? So, can you see that they're being multiplied, right? So, can you see that this guy is exactly the same with this guy, and they're being multiplied, this multiplied by this, and then this multiplied by this, right? So they are what we call factors. And then, because they're exactly the same, and they're, they're being multiplied, so we can cancel these two. So which means that will be just equals to x plus 2 over x plus 4. That's it, okay? So I would like you to do the same thing with this one, and then factorize them, and then see which factor you have the same uh, the same with the numerator and denominator, and then you just cancel it, okay? Okay, number seven, for, uh, solve for the value of x from this equation. We know that on the left side we have a, a fraction, and on the right side we have a fraction. So uh, the easiest way to do this is to use this concept, okay? I'm gonna uh, give you some concept. For example, if I have one over two, this can be written as two over four, right? So basically we can do something like this. So we can, ca we can move this here, and we can move this here by just doing multiplication. We know that uh, it is, uh, what do you call it? This is a division, right? 2 divided by 4. And then if you have, uh, the 4 goes to the left, there will be multiplication. This is also the same thing, right? So if I move that, right, there will be 1 times 4, right? Because I have put the 4 over here, so it's being multiplied. And the same thing with just 2 over, put it here, there will be 2 times 2. This is equals to 4, this is equals to 4, right? That works because, yeah, we can just like move the denominator to the other side of the equal sign and then there will become a multiplication. So the same thing with this one. Maybe I'm going to use other uh, question. Let's say I have uh, x plus 2 over 2x plus 5 equals to, let's say, it's 7 over 12, for example. Okay, so I can move this, all of these, right? all of these, don't don't just like move it one of this, no, just all of them, because actually, they, we can put a bracket on them, right? You can put a bracket on them. So if I move this here, make sure that we move all of them. And the same thing with the 12, I move, uh, uh goes here, so they are being multiplied. So I can rewrite that as 12, right? This 12, right? And then multiply by x plus 2, x plus 2 is this guy, right? And the same thing with the 7 and that 2x plus 5, that will be 7 and then multiply it by 2x plus 5. Can you see what I'm doing here? It's just like, okay, I'm gonna maybe put some highlight here, highlighters to see uh, which one is which, okay? So this is it, this one, and uh, maybe this one is x plus 2, this one, right? And the last one, maybe this one here, so that you can see which one I'm putting, okay? So if, you, if you're confused, just pause the video, and then uh, you can see which one it's going to, yeah, where. Okay. So uh, expand the bracket in here. So you only need to multiply this with this, and then multiply this with this. You will get 12x plus 24. And the right side, we get 7 times 2x. That will be 14x. And this time, this will be equals to 35. Okay. So remember that whenever we want to solve any kind of equation, it's just uh, moving uh, <coughs> the one that has variables uh, to one side of the equal sign, the other doesn't have variables to the other side of the equal sign. So I can say that this is 12x, and I'm going to move this 14x to the left side. There'll be minus 14x, and then the 35 doesn't change, and then this 24 becomes uh, negative because, yeah, 35, that would be, yeah. Uh, this addition move here, you will get a subtraction, right? So 12x minus 14x will be minus 2x, and then 35 minus 24 will be equals to 11. Is it? Yes, 11. So which means that the x will be just equals to, so move this to the other side of the equal sign, there will be a division. So it's just 11 over minus 2, or just minus 11 over 2, the same thing. Yeah. So I would like you to try this one. 
Okay, for number 8, it's actually the combination of uh, question 6 and question 7, actually. So we can say that we have 4x, and here we have 4x over 3 minus 5x over 7 equals to 8 over 15. So we can actually do this one first, right? We can simplify that, and then we can combine it with this by using the concept that we have for number 7. So again, I'm going to uh, use other questions so that you can do this later on, okay? Uh, so for this one, I'm going to use the butterfly concept. Okay, so I'm going to multiply this with this, right? There will be 3x times 5, that will be equals to 15x, okay? And then I'm going to apply this with this one, right? And that will be 8x, and then we know that because this is a subtraction, right? Subtraction, so subtract this, and then over, multiply these two numbers, 2 times 5, that will be equals to 10, right? And it will be equals 3 over 20 based on the same question that we have. Okay, and then you only need to subtract 15x minus 8x, there will be 7x, right? So there will be 7x over 10 on the left side with the equal sign, and this is 3 over 20. Okay, so like I said before, we can just like uh, move that 20 here and then move that 10 here. So there will be 7x multiplied by 20 and then equals to 10 uh, times 3, yeah? Okay? So again, uh, just multiply them together, there will be 140x on the left side, and this will be equal to 30. And that will be just uh, move this to the other side of the equal sign, there will be 30 over 140, or simplify this becomes 3 over 14. Okay, uh, so please, if you uh, still don't understand, uh, you can go back to the uh, feed. I mean, like you can just pause it and then uh, rewatch the video again. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, uh, for this one, I'm going to explain uh, just the, the question from here, okay? So Fred sold one third of his comic book and then bought 13 more for his collection. He now has 45. If the initial number of comic books that he has is denoted by the variable x. So this is the x, okay? The x is the number of comic that he begin with. Okay, so I write down an algebraic equation in terms of x based on this case. So we can see that the first time uh, at the beginning of the time that we were looking for, I mean, like, in this case, is x, right? The, the number of comics that Fred has is x, right? So that's one. And then after that, sold one-third of his comic book, right? So so if it's, if it's being sold, then uh, it's going to be reduced, right? So it's reduced by one-third. One-third of what? One-third of the original. So that will be one-third of x, right and then after that and then bought 13 more for his collection so you add another 13 comics right he now has 45 so this is equals to 45 okay so basically this is the um uh, algebraic equation right or you can uh have actually simplify this one if you want but actually this is this okay no, no problem with that you don't need to simplify anything uh for now that's fine so this is like x minus 1 over 3 x is the same thing as 1 minus 1 over 3 right and in, in terms of x so that will be just 2 over 3 x plus 13 equals to 45 okay so this is question a so question b how many did he begin with so this is uh, a question in uh, in terms of x. I mean, like it it asks you what's the value of x because x is the number of comic book that he begin with. Okay, so we have this equation here, so we only need to solve that equation. So I'm going to rewrite that again: two over three x plus thirteen equals to forty five. Okay, so we're going to move one by one. So we are going to move this thirteen first to the left side. Remember that we need the bit mass concept, right? But in reverse order, right? You start from subtraction. You don't have any subtraction and then we go to addition yes we have an addition over here so we need to move that to the other side of the equal sign so that will be 2 over 3x and then equals to 45 again because this is an addition if we move it to the other side of the equal sign that will be the opposite operation of addition which is subtraction that will be minus 13 okay so we have now 45 minus 13 is equals to 32 right 32 is it yes or two yes okay now again we have this 2 over 3x is the same thing like 2 over 3 multiply by x so if i move this 2 over 3 to the other side of the equal sign there will be a division right so i can just like oh this is x equals to 32 and then divide that by 2 over 3 you can actually just put this into the calculator guys or if we do it manually there will be 32 multiply by 3 over 2 we know that this becomes multiplication and then we only need to uh, swap the numerator and denominator. I can just like cancel these two, right? So 32 divided by 2 is 16. 16 times 3, they'll be equals to 48. And then because this is a 
uh, story problem, please write down the uh, sentences, right? The sentence uh, for the question. So he begin with, you can say that he begin with 48 comic book. That's it, okay? Okay, guys, so this is number 10, the last one. Uh, we have this expression here, right? And it looks messy. <laughs> if you put it in the calculator, you will get a lot of numbers, right? But this one is actually, it's not that hard because, uh, yeah, let's just write it. Okay, uh, let's just read it first, okay? So if 2021 represented by the variable P, rewrite the expression above in terms of P. Okay, so this is the hint, guys. So if P is equal to 2021, so 2022 will be P plus 1, right? So you can just like, uh, make this as a pivot point uh, to like add or subtract the p right okay so let's say I have 2023 so because I know that peaks so 2021 so 2023 will be just p plus 2 is it right because just add this by 2 add this by 2 and then you will get 2023 so this is going to be represent that at as p plus 2 okay okay so Let's rewrite again, guys. So that also 2023 will be come P plus 2. Just remember to put bracket, yeah? So we have done for this one. Okay. And then multiply it again with 2021 minus 36. That I can write down as because we know that 2021 is equals to P, right? Equals to P. Right, so I just I can just like write it down as P square because this is P. And this is square, okay? You don't need to do anything else with that. And then minus 36. And the, we don't need to change this into like uh, P in terms of P. We don't have to do it because it's very, very far from 2021, okay? So the next one is 2019 because remember that this is 2001 is uh, P. So means that we can just reduce this by 2 to get 2019. 19 right so this is p minus 2 again you reduce 2021 by 2 you will get 2019 right because this is p so p minus 2 is equal to 2019 there is where i get the p minus 2 okay so we're done with the numerator let's go to denominator okay it's the same thing right 2027 okay so how how, how many unit like uh what number should i add with 2021 to get 2027 uh, there'll be just six right so 2021 plus six is equals to 2027 so which means that 2027 can be represented as p plus six right p plus six because p is 2001 2021 plus six is 2027 Okay, and then the same thing here, we have 2021 again, it's just P, right? So just P and multiply that by P squared minus 4. Okay, there you go. That is for question A because you only need to represent this and rewrite an expression about in uh, this in terms of P. Okay, so question B is just actually just crossing because I'm like a canceling method. Uh, just know that if we have, we have something that we can cancel, just cancel them, okay? So... Uh, we can cancel anything yet because we don't have the same thing. But you notice that if you see this and this one, we can actually factorize this. Okay, before we go to question B, I'm going to show you something first. Okay, so here, for example, if I have um, uh, a squared minus 4, this can be written as a plus 2 times a minus 2. Sorry, it's minus 2. Okay, so basically, you're just like finding the square root of a square and then finding the square root of 4. The square root of a uh, square is just a. The square root of 4 is 2, right? So that's, that's why it's a and 2 and it's a, a and 2. And uh, like the sign is going to be different. One is plus, one is minus, yeah? I'm going to give you another example, okay? A2 and it's a plus, okay. So what if I have uh, x squared minus 9, right? See, the square root of x squared is just x, right? So which means that there will be x and x. The square root of 9 is 3, right? So you could put 3 over here and 3 over here. And then 1 is plus and 1 is minus. Okay, another example. What if I have like 4a square and then minus 25? Okay, so notice that all, all of them will be minus. Yeah, it's not going to be plus. It's always going to be minus because it's a multiplication of two numbers. The, uh, one is positive, one of the, the other one is negative. So there will be negative. Okay, now the square root of 4a square, there will be 2a. Right, that will be 2a because 2a times 2a is 4a square, and then the square root of 25 is equals to 5. So this is 5 and this is 5, and one of this was plus and one is minus. Right, so using this concept, we can 
factorize this p squared minus 36 okay so i'm gonna put it over here guys so uh to let you know so p my p squared minus 36 will be equals to okay again find the square root of p squared it's just p right because p times p is equals to p squared and the same thing what is the square root of 36 it's six right so this is six and this is also six one is plus and one is minus Okay, can you see what I'm doing here? The same thing with this one, right? So I'm going to show you also that one. Uh, p squared uh, minus 4, there will be just, okay, square root of p squared is just p. So this is p and this is also p. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2. So this is plus 2 and this is minus 2. Okay, so using this, uh, this uh, factorization, we can change or substitute this with these two. Okay, so let's rewrite the equation again. But this time, we want to factorize those two, okay? So... Uh, the equation will be p plus 2 and then p plus 6, p minus 6, right? Because I'm changing this one into this one, right? And then times it with p minus 2. Okay, the one under the denominator, the same thing as p plus 6 doesn't change, right? This one doesn't change. And then this one becomes this one, right? So it's just p plus 2 and then p minus 2. Okay, so because all of them are being multiplied, now we can cancel, right? So we can cancel the one that has the same factor. This one, we cancel with this one. This one cancel with this one. And this one cancel with this one. So that leaves us with only this guy, right? P minus 6. So that'll be just P minus 6. And since we know that the P here is previously is 2021, so that will be just equals to 2021 subtracted by 6. And that will be just equals to 2021. Thank you.